Shortness of breath is a very common complaint which can be found in people with cancer, diabetes, heart disease, COPD, asthma, and many other conditions. The reasons of shortness of breath are relatively simple. All these people have too heavy breathing at rest. We breathe about two, three times more than the medical norm. And that causes low CO2 levels in the airways. When CO2 level in airways is low, that causes constriction of airways. Because CO2 is powerful relaxant of smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are present in blood vessels like arteries and arterioles, but they are also located around airways. And therefore, when people with these health problems hyperventilate, and this is again found in virtually each and every person with um, cancer, heart disease, diabetes, COPD, and other conditions, these people have constricted airways, and that makes it more difficult to breathe. In addition to that, since carbon dioxide is powerful relaxant of other muscles in the body, the diaphragm becomes too tense and we switch to chest breathing. When upper chest breathing is present, it's much more difficult for them to breathe, first of all, because of the heavy breathing, and second, because the airways are constricted. In addition to that, many groups of people have inflammation in the airways, and that caused also by hyperventilation, because when they hyperventilate, they reduce oxygen level in body cells, and that causes suppression of the immune system. As a result, the immune system is not able to deal with inflammation, and the inflammation becomes chronic. This happens when the body oxygenation is at least two times less than the medical norm. Therefore, the solution to shortness of breath is to reduce the breathing back to the medical norm, to make it light, slow, and easy. And then these people are able to experience light diaphragmatic breathing at rest, instead of heavy chest breathing that we have right now, and the problems with shortness of breath is going to disappear. If you want to find free instructions how to increase body and brain oxygenation, you can visit website normalbreathing.com.